Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is the first boot. First boot of what, guys? Windows Server 2012 R2 preview. Believe it or not, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, I believe the 26th, yeah, the 26th, Windows 8.1 is coming out, code name Windows Blue. Uh, supposedly, with the new update, uh, the start button is supposed to be there. Now, from my understanding, Windows Server 2012 R2 Preview already has the start button. Windows Server 2012 never had the start button, but it looks like um, the Server 2012 R2 is equivalent to what you're going to see on tomorrow's upgrade. So, I'm actually going to post this site at the bottom of the description so you guys can get a copy of it. I already got a copy of it. You can actually get four flavors of this the ISO. Uh, the virtual hard disk server core or the GUI or you can do it on the Windows um, Azure so and they actually give you product keys that you guys could you know test it out now this is only gonna last until I, I think until January of 2014 when I first uh, read it so so far I, I already downloaded the ISO I'm, I'm actually testing everything out on a virtual machine like always I always test everything out on a virtual machine so I got the ISO up and running. You know, I click next. You're gonna hit install, and it's gonna start doing its setup. So right here, it's gonna want you to enter the product key. So I'm gonna like minimize this, and I am going to put that to the side like that, and see if I can get a nice little glimpse of it. There we go. So I'm going to use the data center product key or automatic virtual machine activation. So, oh, it only has it for the data. So I'm I'm gonna enter right. right. So J G X Y Y seven N M T C M H K Y three Q C C nine B V. Okay, so that looks okay. So let's hit next. And if everything goes okay, it should go through. Awesome. You only get two flavors of this, and it looks like either Core or the GUI. I'm going to do the GUI for now because I want to see that start button. This is the first boot of Windows Server 2012 R2 with you guys, and the big hype is that start button. So let's click next on that. I'm going to accept the license and terms, and let's do a custom. I'm giving it 10 gigs. Uh, the amount of free space for the select project is smaller than 12. I can remember, remember, uh, let's hit next. Just, 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 just go for it. Core requirement is more than 12 gigs. I just don't have enough. So it looks like uh, some of the configuration, installing the operating system, and placing the files is already done. Uh, as you just saw, the little fish. Uh, I don't know. Is that like a Microsoft mascot that they have? Because I know last time when they had the Windows 8 preview, that little fish did pop up for the preview. So it looks like it's it's finishing up. I'm kind of excited because I don't know. I don't know, guys. Is this is the start menu going to be there or not? You know, is the start menu going to be there? Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, hopefully, it boots up for me. All right. So I need to set up a password. Like always, you have to set up an administrative password. So I'm going to give it my famous password, like I always do. And we're going to hit finish. And it's finalizing your settings. Awesome. And it's finished. It finalized itself. So let's log in. I'm gonna again. I'm using virtual um, a machine. I'm using VM Workstation for this, and I'm going to send a Control Delete command. And I'm so excited, guys. I am excited. Let's log in and see if the Start menu is there. Come on, Microsoft. Did you do your job? Because I'm excited for tomorrow's Windows 8.1 update. And I'm definitely going to do a first boot on that with you guys when it comes out. And long and behold, there goes the famous start menu. I'm going to hit no on this. I want to right click on this bad boy because I want to change the resolution of it. Change the resolution a little bit. And I'm gonna give it, uh, I don't know. There you go, let's see. Alright. And yeah, keep the changes. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I accept it, sure. I accept whatever you want me to accept. 
So, this is what we expect for tomorrow's Windows 8.1 preview. The start menu right there. But, you see how weird that is? Uh, yeah. That's weird. So that's what the start menu is. Now, from my understanding on Windows 8.1, they added the shutdown feature within the start button. But it looks like the start button just goes directly to the charm. Not the charm, but I mean like the start window menu, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they disabled the charm. That's pretty cool. I don't know. This is, this is, I don't know. I don't know either I'm disappointed or not. I don't know if I'm disappointed. I'm happy that the start button is there, but it's not something that I was actually expecting. I was actually expecting you hit the start button and something pops up. Like for example, I'm, like I'm on the Windows 7. If I click on it, I was expecting something like this. But no, I got something like this. Seriously, Microsoft? This is not what I was expecting at all. What do you guys think about this new Windows button? Do you approve or disapprove? Hey, leave comments right below. Again, I appreciate you guys watching the first boot. Hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to get the uh, eight, Windows 8.1 preview, and I could do a first boot on that and see if they did any improvements on the user side. Again, this is more of a server side, so give me some, give me some feedbacks. What do you think? Catch you guys later, and peace out!